Okay, I'm logging in to Alfresco as a normal user. The first method I'll show you of starting a workflow is to navigate to the document that you would like to route through the workflow and click Start Workflow. Then you'll see a list of the out-of-the-box workflows as well as any custom workflows that you've deployed. Let's start with an ad hoc workflow. An ad hoc workflow is just a way of asking someone to uh, take some sort of ad hoc action on a piece of content. Give it a due date and a priority and we will assign it to a user, test user 1. We can see the um, document is in the list and we will just click start workflow. Now if we look at that document in the document library we can see an icon that indicates that this document is part of an active workflow. If we open up the document and scroll down towards the bottom we'll see a workflow section and we can see the uh, workflow that that document is part of and we can click to it and see some more information um, about the workflow that we just started who it's waiting on we can even look at the the um, process diagram this one's not that exciting because it's a simple uh, two-step workflow so let's log out and see what it looks like from the perspective of the person we assign the workflow to I'm logging in as T user 1 and it looks like in my My Tasks dashlet, I have the task asking me to take a look at that spreadsheet. Now I could click on that, but let's click on Active Tasks. So you can see that if you had a bunch of tasks, you can filter those tasks uh, by a variety of ways. So I can filter by due date, by priority, um, and then by tasks that are assigned to me or that are waiting for someone to claim them. I'll go ahead and open up that task. I can click through to the document if I want to and I can download the document or uh, take any sort of actions that I have permissions to take. I could also mark the task um, with a status. So maybe I don't want to mark it as done. I just want to say that it's in progress and save the task and that way if someone else looks at that task they can see that I've set it to in progress. So let's finish the task, mark it done, and now the task is not in my list anymore. So let's log out as that user and log back in as Jay Potts, and we will see what has happened on our end. So now we've been notified that the test user has completed the task. And so I can just mark this done, and now that's completely off the, uh, off the list. Another way to start a workflow is to just click Start Workflow in the My Tasks dashlet. Same dialog here, just um, selecting which workflow I want to do. Let's do a group review and approve workflow. So this is asking a group to um, review and either approve or reject a document. Now I don't have any documents here. I, in order to save time, um, we're just going to route this workflow without a, without any content. So we've sent this to Sales, and Sales has two members in the group, T user one and T user two. So we log in as T user one, and we see a task asking us to take a look at the budget. Let's approve this. Pretend that we actually looked at the budget. Now, because the workflow was started. Um, requiring 50% of people to approve, when I log in as T user 2, there's nothing in my task list here. That's because the task received enough approvals and has moved on in the workflow. So once it receives the required approval amount, it moves on. And if we log back in as my JPOTS user, we get the alert that it, that task is complete. All right, let's start another workflow. The parallel review and approve workflow is really just like the group review and approve workflow, but it allows you to send to um, individual users instead of a group. Let's look at the pooled review and approve. I think that one's more interesting. So 
the way this works is we're asking for approve or reject and we're assigning to a group similar to what we just did but in this case um, when the group when the members of the group get a task in their list it's up to one of the group members to claim the task so basically what you're saying is I need I need sales to take a look at this but I only need one person from that entire group to take action so now you can see that this is unassigned and if T user 1 opens up the task they now see a button at the top that says claim so I can claim this and when I do that it takes it out of the rest of the groups inbox so now no one else will see that in their task list. I've claimed this as a task I'm going to work on. Now I could save this status and whatnot, but let's just go ahead and put a little comment here and, uh, and approve it. If I wanted to, I could release that task back to the pool. Maybe I claim something and then decide later that I'm not going to work on it. And if I release it to the pool, it goes back into the, uh, the group's inbox. Now I'm logged back in as JPOTS and we're just taking a look here at the workflow and we can see um, that uh, test user one had the review task and I can open up this diagram a little bit more interesting than the ad hoc diagram and let's go ahead and um, mark this as complete so I'll just edit the task and click task done okay the last workflow is that we haven't talked about is just the review and approve workflow and this is uh, just a simple workflow that asks for approval and goes to a, a single user